Okay, everybody, I'm gonna take a tour of our shop. This is the outside. There's the clock tower and the huge chimney. This is an old industrial building from the turn of the century that made ammunitions for the war. And this is one of our entrances. As we come into the shop, yeah, with, with a bit of force. There's Adam helping a customer. <laughs> Tom is over here in his place, probably uh, writing to a customer, replying to a customer, right? <laughs> this is our shipping department, uh, which Tom is in charge of in customer relations. And here's all our parts that we pick from every morning. Um, <clears throat> all of our products are numbered by a SKU number and this gets replenished about once a week when we go through the parts. Say goodbye, Tom. Bye. <laughs> And as we go into the shop, here's some more um, parts that are uh, overstock for the shipping department and our storage. Here's an old harpsichord we're working on restoring. We've been trying to restore it for about a year now, but there's just not enough time in the day. There's James. <clears throat> here's the captain's office. As messy and, and unorganized, but that's where I do my uh, my business. And here's a board of our current piano orders. Now let's follow James. This is James's room, his electronics room, where he does all his design work and repairs. James is busy on a tube amp right now. It looks like a Leslie amp. He's got some fancy equipment here. He's been designing some great power supply rebuild kits recently that should be available this week to people. And that's James's room. Say, say goodbye, James. Bye, James. <laughs> and okay, so we're back to more of our overstock parts. <clears throat> couple Leslie's being restored. Shelves are looking a little bare here. We're going to have to restock those very soon. <clears throat> and here's our tree that we call it a uh, vintage vibe piano. Uh, Hard Rock Maple Action Rails and Baltic Birch um, Pickup Rails. Here's more parts. Sustain pedal parts, tone bars, craziness. Let's go see. How you doing, Alberto? Good. <laughs> more parts. Here's an interesting box we made for our tines. When we're building pianos, we use these one through 73 slots to 
pre-cut our tines so we can just go and grab them as we need them. It's like Alberto's making some vintage vibe piano harps. First, he starts by cutting the tines to length and then assembling them on the tone bars. Um, and now he's building the harp together. All right, cool. There's some more parts. This is our pickup station where we have all of our pickups and harp assembly equipment. Here's some harps in the middle of being assembled. And once they're assembled, they get hung on these racks here that we make. And then about as soon as they're completed, they get pulled for new piano builds. And over here is our on deck repair uh, racks. So all these, hey, there's Fred. <laughs> all these, uh, all these pianos are currently in for restoration. Um, it's, it's a bit overwhelming right now. It's hard to catch up, keep up with all these pianos in. I, I honestly don't know how we're gonna do it, but we're doing our best every day. And as we come over here, here's a piano I'm working on right now. This is uh, 76 and doing the usual business to it. And over here we have Chris. How you doing, Chris? Hello. Say hi, Chris. <laughs> Chris has been restoring this 88 piano for a customer. He's actually tuning a reed now, aren't you? Okay, well this piano is, is an 88 and he's done a dynamite job as usual on it. Chris is uh, becoming a Pretty impressive little tech. Alberto is a been impressive, been impressive, impressive tech. <laughs> Come on, don't hesitate to say it. <laughs> um, here's the case that Chris just uh, telexed and redid the hardware. Very nice. Oh, let's go back over here. This is uh, our build section where the pianos start off. Um, we start with a bass and we take the bass and we put it on um, a cart and we put the legs on it such as this. And then we start building it up from there. Then the keyboard key bed comes in next. Here's some more spare parts, key beds, chrome legs, hardware, handles, music racks. Um, as you can see, when we buy parts, they're basically in the thousands to millions. Oh, here's our little blue piano we just made. This is a fantastic little Little guy, custom job Wurlitzer. Here's uh, more, more stock, more shelves. Um, there's some um, wood baffles for suitcase cabinets. Some Vibonet. Some cases, some pianos on deck. Let's say hello to this lady. Hello. And uh, here we go to some more storage for some B-Stock hardware. Cheek blocks, a lot of cheek blocks. Vintage vibe lids for our pianos. And going back here is our photo room where we have Nick. 
Hey, Nick, what's up? Nothing much. Creating and there's art. Chloe. Say hi, Chloe. Hi. Chloe's our, our resident model. What do you got going over here? That's pretty cool. Still not perfectly square. No. Nice. <laughs> what do you got to say, Chloe? Nothing. Nothing? Okay. <laughs> and let's go out and see Adam. We forgot about Adam's room. This is the Tolex table here. It's a custom Tolex table we made, oh, must be 15 years ago or so, but it still, still stands strong. Hey, Adam, I was just coming out to your room. What are you doing in there? I'm about to eat my food. Eat your food? Soup? No one wants to see you eat soup. They want to see you working on a piano. No, I'm not doing that anyway. Really? Oh, come on, man. <laughs> Fred, are you working on a piano? Uh, I suppose so. Did I did I come in here already? No, I don't think I did. Oh, wow. How could I forget Fred? Because uh, I had walked out. I had to oh. merge. Oh, okay. How's it going with this? I thought we were done with this. Yeah, there's just one note that was kind of um, not making me happy. Really? Yeah. Okay. Here's that beautiful concert piano we just finished for a customer and it's supposed to be delivered this week but i'm not sure if that's going to happen oh. yeah this is a cool looking one red it's like a fire engine <laughs> all right fred thanks for the uh tour oh you got it i'll be back anytime <laughs> Okay, and last on the list is uh, Adam's room. This is um, where we get our nuts and bolts. Um, nuts and bolts here. We have uh, nuts and bolts over here as well. That's uh, kind of messy, but if you work here, you'd, you'd realize it's organized. <laughs> uh, speakers, compressor toolbox a lot of more shelves and storage there's some some of our woodworking tools here's a pedal bench that we use for making pedals up and here's our tine press that is a custom machine that we designed and make all of our tines with running low on blocks i think we have two five gallons of left of blocks, but they're on order, so they're coming. Uh, an arbor press table, small woodworking gear over here. I, we bought this Ryobi from Home Depot, like, I don't know, had to be 10 years or longer ago. Um, and it still works great. So what do you know, cheap tools can last. And this is Adam's bench here. This is where a lot of the magic from Vintage Vibe happens right here. He's working on a Vibonet and a 200 Action. Mm. Oh, there he is. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> nice. We were just discussing your work. Yeah. Cool. Is that thing turned on? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thing. That's the mm -hmm. thing. Is that ready to go out? Yep. All right. Excellent. And here's some more pianos on deck for repair. And uh, I guess that's about it. We can end outside. 
on our dock where we do a lot of our Tolex work since uh, it's a nasty, dirty job. All right, everybody, and that's the tour.